can you explain what are brown dwarfs and how they are made? <laughs> we can we say that if a body has a mass lower than a minimum mass required for fusion, it's a brown dwarf. What is this minimum mass? And how do we distinguish between a planet and a brown dwarf then? Good question. So like you said, a brown dwarf is a large enough gaseous planet that does contain hydrogen mostly. And it is not massive enough to sustain thermonuclear fusion. So it is not able to sustain a thermonuclear fusion reaction, which is what powers the stars. That's what gives off the light. And therefore, uh, these stars are somewhere between a planet and a star. So what is the minimum mass? The minimum mass of a brown dwarf is, I think, uh, 16 times the mass of Jupiter. So that is the minimum mass required for something called the fusion of deuterium. So in a regular star, you have fusion of hydrogen into helium. Now, a deuterium uh, is an isotope of hydrogen. Uh, hydrogen has a proton in the nucleus and an electron that goes around it. Deuterium has a proton and a neutron in the nucleus and an electron that goes around it. So. Uh, when the uh, mass of a gaseous uh, planet goes beyond 16 Jupiter masses, that's where it is possible for it to sustain the fusion of deuterium for some time. And that's what can give off some kind of energy. So it is like lukewarm. It is It glows, it glows faintly in the magenta-ish color range, right? And it is reasonably hot, but it's not hot enough like a star. So the mass range of a brown dwarf is between 16 Jupiter masses and approximately 18 Jupiter masses, which is the minimum threshold for a gaseous object to become a star and for thermonuclear fusion of hydrogen into helium to ignite. So that is the mass range of a brown dwarf between 16 Jupiter masses and about 80 Jupiter masses. And that is what distinguishes a planet from a brown dwarf. So below 16 Jupiter masses, you have a gas giant planet. Above that and below 80, it's a brown dwarf. Above 80 Jupiter masses, you most likely have sustained thermonuclear fusion of hydrogen into helium. And that's the lowest mass a star can usually have.